So, welcome back to another video. This is Team Overclocked, and today we're talking about everything we know about AMD Vega. AMD Vega is going to be the high-end lineup of AMD GPUs that are going to be competing with NVIDIA's high-end GPUs like the GTX 1070, GTX 1080, and their Titan X. So let's get right into all the latest rumors, leaks, and announcements from AMD. Now rumors have been saying that AMD is going to be releasing this GPU in about May or June of this year. They have promised to release these GPUs in the first half of 2017 and it would make sense for them to do it this way. This does make me wonder if they're going to label these GPUs as 500 series GPUs instead of 400 series GPUs since the RX 400 series has been out for about a year now and it seems like it would be a good idea to release all of these GPUs under the 500 series name starting from the RX 560 all the way up to the RX 590. But this is just speculation, but I do suspect it to happen this way. Now one major feature of the Vega GPUs is the new and improved high bandwidth memory. This should allow it to use the storage in your PC like on your SSD or system RAM to increase your video RAM amount since the bandwidth is high enough for it to be reasonably fast. AMD says that this means that you can have up to 512 terabytes of VRAM for a single Vega GPU, which is ridiculously large, but it should be good if you're trying to do something like some extremely high-end video editing and you would like to have more than the standard 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you want something like maybe even like 64 gigabytes of VRAM, that is possible and that's pretty amazing considering that we haven't been seeing any excessively high VRAM amounts past about 8 to 12 gigabytes for the past couple years. Now another great improvement is going to be the new Next Compute Unit or NCU design. This is going to split up the GPU workload so there aren't any idle parts of the GPU. Or at least theoretically that's what it's supposed to do. So it's going to reduce the idleness of certain parts of your GPU that aren't usually used like in the previous generations of AMD GPUs. This is going to make it better for APIs like DirectX 12 and Vulkan which are really seeking to do this to improve performance. This could really be the turning point for DirectX 12 as it seems like it would actually let it boost frame rates over DirectX 11 by a wider margin than it currently does with the current NVIDIA and AMD GPUs and this would make DirectX 12 a lot more useful since it usually drops frame rates or makes high stuttering making DirectX 12 a lot more unplayable compared to DirectX 11. Now another great improvement that AMD is going to be making with their Vega GPUs is that they're going to be significantly dropping their power consumptions compared to their previous AMD GPUs in the high-end market. Although it can be nice to have your PC double up as a space heater during the winter, it is not the ideal setup for most people and along with that, high power consumptions makes overclocking difficult since your GPU is already using a shitload of power and increasing its power usage would be against what most owners want to see on their power bill. So now with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the pricing and specs of the new Vega GPUs. There have been a lot of rumors on this, so I have gotten a small idea of a few of the GPU pricing. I think there will probably be something like an RX 590 at around $550 with 8GB of HBM VRAM and a clock speed of around 1.5GHz which should be competing with a GTX 1080 
along with a lower end cutdown model of the same GPU by the name of something like an RX 580X with 8GB of HBM and a 1.5GHz clock speed with a lower stream processor count, but it will be at a $350 price point which will make it ready to compete with the GTX 1070. Now this is definitely going to be creating some competition with Nvidia and it is probably going to cause them to launch the 1080 Ti to attempt to one up AMD on the high end GPU market. And this will definitely make it interesting when it comes to launch time. And if these rumors turn out to be true, we will be seeing some really exciting GPUs on the market later this year. Leave your opinions on any of these rumors in the comments down below. And yeah guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please go overclock the like button. And if you didn't like it, please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.